Hi my Beekman Town Eagles, welcome to Miss Woodward Reads. Today I'm thinking about the next holiday after Halloween, Thanksgiving. And today I'm reading, Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving, Story and Pictures by Dave Pilkey. I love this book. I think it's super funny. And it reminds me of Twas the Night Before Christmas. "'Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees "'the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins "'and hopes that a field trip soon would begin. "'They sang as they rode through autumn terrains "'while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. "'They're thinking about turkey.'" Over rivers, through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there rose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. What do you think the problem is? When what, with their wondering eye, should they see but a miniature farm and ate tiny turkey? And a little old man, so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. Oh, the little turkeys. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Mo, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces, and they greeted the children with downy embraces. Aww. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew, and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Are they having a good time with those turkeys? They sure are. Then somebody spotted an axe by the door, and she asked Farmer Nugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said Mac Nugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. The children stood still, still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. They just made friends with all these turkeys. Oh dear, cried Mac Nugget. Now what shall I do? So they dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old Mac Nugget and waddled away. Why do they look a little bit bigger? What do you think they're hiding under their shirts? I think I have an idea. They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then, as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked round, not a turkey in sight. "'Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love."
The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful the turkeys were most. See the little turkeys in the windows? They're not being eaten. They're guests for Thanksgiving dinner. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. The end. I think this book is so funny, but also it makes me think of how loving some of our friends can be towards animals, and they save those turkeys from becoming Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks, my Beacon Town Eagle.